Hey guys, welcome to another show of Asan and Reese. Um, your host Asan and Reese, where we talk about the latest tech news, uh, future news, and how to be more productive, um, find happiness in in your la- life. La- life. Um, yeah, Reese, how are you? It's been a week almost since we had our last. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Um, lovely day outside. I mean. I'm I just can't believe I was I was talking about this the other day. I can't believe it's just getting later and later, isn't it? I think I think everyone in in the UK has noticed this, but like you know, you guys comment as well. Like how how how's the weather gone from you know spring used to be until like May, yeah, and then summer would start in June. It'd be June, July, August. Everyone knew this. Now, like since twenty nine, well, since before, but I remember in twenty nineteen specifically, it was like boiling hot in like the end of September. It was and know, now. Now summer don't really start until like the end of July, and it's, it's almost it's almost May, and it's still cold. <laughs> I don't get it. It's, it, not it good. it's crazy. It's just crazy out of there. It's it's. Um, I remember when my parents, when I was young, my parents used to say when they came to this country first, mm. um, it used to snow, and the snow used to come up to this like shin. That's oh. how much it used to snow. Now it barely snows. Yeah, barely snows. But hey, that's British weather for you. Um, <laughs> But yeah, um, what's what's new, Reese? What's new? Well, I mean, I see this story. Um, Sony now lets you store but not play PS5 games on external hard drive. And you know, as we've spoken about, I'm a gamer, so I was like, "Yeah, bang on that." I'm going to talk about it. So, okay. I mean, from, it's a problem. It's a problem because I mean, it's, it might not seem like a big deal, but it basically the, they've added a feature that is basically useless because. On, on the PS4 as well, and I would I haven't got a PS5 myself yet, but I would imagine they have the same feature on the PS feature on the PS5 that you have on the PS4, which is you have a library of all the games that you've purchased anyway. Yes. Yeah. So if, especially if you're buying games digitally, which obviously you would be storing them on an external hard drive if they're digital, because you wouldn't if it's disc. But if you have a library where you can just reinstall the games anyway and save all of your saved data onto the cloud, why do you need an external hard drive? Unless you can play the games directly off of the external hard drive like you can on the PlayStation 4. But you can't with the PlayStation 5. You can't you can't play the games on, off of the external hard drive. So there's no point in adding the feature. Why do they have that? I don't, I, know. I, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand that. That, that. that doesn't make any sense. I know. But um, I think it was literally <laughs> just to like make, like you know, act like they 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 they're trying to do something to make a difference, but they're not really doing anything. But that's just so pointless. I know it's pointless. It's literally just like a, a a publicity thing. I think just saying, oh guys, we've added this feature. You can you know you, now you can store your PS Five games on your external hard drives. And it's like, cheers. <laughs> I think. Okay. So. This is that's quite interesting. I mean, there's not really much else to talk about on it. You know I, I just don't get it. You know what? It, it might be. It might be a pub. A whole pub. pub, pub yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm stunned. Where, if they really want you to play off games off the, you know, external hard drive, I think you probably will be able to. Maybe they need a software uh, uh, update. Oh, uh, you think it's just something to get people talking, and then they'll they'll put a, like a patch in yeah. that will be like, oh no, now like you couldn't do it that before, but now you can. So they've kind of done it just to yeah. you know people outrage and then make people happy when they fix it. That's it. Uh, sorry, it's yeah. something what I, 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 Apple do a lot. It's this I've seen Apple have this mark, marketing tactic. Mm. Guys, what do you think? Should we do something like this? <laughs> <laughs> Give you guys some bad news, and then we're like, "Oh no, it's fine now." Like, uh, yeah. Um, but guys, uh, please uh, like, subscribe, um, and follow us on Instagram. Um, also, we're on Apple Podcasts um, and Google Podcasts and all the other platforms. Spotify coming soon, definitely. Um, but yeah, um, just please subscribe. Um, comment down below if we're doing anything good if you're doing anything bad uh we will appreciate a lot um yeah Reese? yeah yeah we just want you guys feedback you know we're always on suggestions if, if there's anything you'd specifically want us to talk about just let us know and um yeah we'll just keep cracking out the content for you guys yeah 
And the next article is, you, right. I mean, you like your pizza, uh, you like your, your pizza <laughs> articles. We spoke I'm, about a, I'm a pizza fan. Uh, this is, um, uh, as you know, last week we were talking about um, autonomous cars and, you know, um, a- AI or auto- autonomous. Um, a normal pizza where you go to, it's like a vending machine for pizza. Whereas, the, I mean, because we, yeah. I think we spoke about, we questioned the, uh, like how good is the pizza going to be really if it comes out a machine like that I you know, know. it's not going to be the, the same i would imagine as getting it like you know made properly like in store and that exactly. so which is why this is kind of a good alternative i think but yeah it's it's, it's dominoes they are they're for now it's only in 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 in, in, in houston houston um houston we have a problem <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah um it's pretty cool. I I saw the video and I was like amazed. But I show it for I show it for everyone. As you can see, this week, guys, we fixed. Um, oopsie, what happened? It. I think I just jinxed myself. <laughs> you definitely did jinx yourself. Yeah, so we were having problems with the videos last week, and now we're having problems with the video this week, just because you, you was about to say, yeah, it, like, oh, we haven't got a problem though. now. I it did, did play. play. Yeah, that's fine then. But <laughs> I don't know. I just some reason stopped. Uh, here we go. This is this is it. This is it. Houston, we have uh, we have a robot, <laughs> and the so robot name. your joke. I think they just used <laughs> my joke. Uh, um, and the robot is named is, is named R two. You know, like uh, Star Wars R two D two. Yeah, hundred um, Self driving pizza delivery vehicle, and we're testing it out in Houston, Texas. Why is everything going to Texas? Are, are we yeah, missing out? Yeah, Elon something? Musk. You know, Domino's. They're, they're doing. Uh, it's going to be like Tokyo, you know, like how Tokyo used to be regarded yeah. as like the technological capital of the world. Yeah. It looks like Houston's on it now. They're like, no, 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 we're having that. <laughs> so look at this. They've got little driving, little driving vehicle. And it, no, that's, I think that's pretty cool. Probably be, probably be a, a bit more reliable than some of the delivery drivers as well because they can never, <laughs> sometimes they can never find your house, innit? Like if you live in an awkward spot and they're driving around, you get called like, where do you live? I can't find you. Yeah, <laughs> You're exactly. trying to direct them, but this will all be done by GPS. GPS, so. yeah. So it's basically, will you, you be like how Uber works, how delivery works, like customers who are selected will receive a text alert, which will update them on R2's location and provide them with a unique pin to re- retrieve their o- order. Um, Customers may also track the vehicle via GPS on, on the order confirmation page. A new Rose robot car was the first completely autonomous, human-free ro- on-road delivery vehicle to receive approval by the U.S. Department of Transportation last year. This is pretty good. Um, I've seen, um, if you've been to Milton, King, Milton Keynes, King Keynes um, Amazon got their own little ro- robot. Pretty much looks something, something like this, where it's on the road like a robot and is going around to offices and delivering packages or all this t- type of stuff hmm. um which is, which is pretty good um but they started doing the drones as well didn't they amazon yeah. they started doing drone delivery oh do they still do that i'm not too sure not guys too let sure. us know if you, if you know if the, if people are still do, if amazon is still doing the drone delivery so just put in the comments let us know definitely um but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool. I think uh, I thought I saw this. I saw another pizza um, article. Do you know what you're gonna get? You're gonna get people doing like pranks and that. You'll get they order a pizza and then they take the pizza out and then they'll get back. They'll get inside. So then when it goes back to the, <laughs> um, like, that's like, what I think. Like try and try and do like you know like a jump scare. Jump scare. Yes, <laughs> maybe uh, we'll do that one thing. <laughs> try and get in it and like fly from London <laughs> to all the way to Texas. Just just do that, guys. If you think that's that would be a good idea, a good prank. Let us know. We might, we might do it for fifty thousand likes. <laughs> 50, <laughs> um, this? Yeah. So uh, Tesla's um, one of their engineers. Um, he left, um, and when he left, they um, they accused him of stealing the autopilot source code for their um, autopilot <laughs> vehicles. Um, yeah, my man. He. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name because I, I don't want to just get horribly or, wrong. Can I try? Go on. Can I try? Former Tesla engineer, Chao Gengzi. Gengzi, yeah. It's probably, yeah, it's probably about right. I reckon you got that. It, does it say if he's Japanese or Chinese? I think it's, it must be Chinese because um, he went to go work for the Chinese car maker rivals X Motors. All right. 
and that's why Tesla accused him of stealing the um, the thing because obviously he went to go work for Tesla's rivals. Oh wow! Yeah, he did admit though um, that he had uploaded multiple zip files containing the source code to his iCloud, which you can see at the bottom here. Oh, too much, too much highlight. Oh, it won't let me highlight less. Boom, there you go. Yeah, so uploaded multiple zip files wow, um, wow, to wow, his uh, wow. iCloud. But um, he said that was never used. So, I mean, I'd, I, mean, I wouldn't I'd say used that. Me. I think he probably used it. Oh, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Tesla's a multi-billion you know, company. He's, he's definitely used it. Because that would put X motors on the map. Yeah. Why not? Why not use it? I mean, it, I mean... I mean, there's no proof. I mean, the proof would be if, if um, Tesla um, IT people go down and look at I, uh, X Motors um, source code and see if it matters or not. Yeah, but I mean, how likely would that be? Hardly. But I mean, I, I would have thought that he um, he would know it anyway. If he was one of the engineers that probably come up with the code, even if he didn't give it to X Motors, he'd probably be like, all right, guys, like, yeah. you know. I can help create you a new code, like the but similar but not the same. I personally think that the reason why he's admitted it, because in IT, I know if you transfer files out of your computer, mm. it kind of um, um, it, it lets the the security office know that yeah, it shows files, yeah. files are leaving X computer to X place. Yeah. So obviously he knows he's been caught, but. That's maybe that's the reason why he's saying, Look, I never use it. It's on my because the thing is, it's saying the, the source code is there, but he's mm. not saying he's deleted it or anything like that. But he's just saying, Oh, yeah, it's there, in, in, you know, on my mm. service, but I'm not, I'm not using it. No, 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 he's using it, he's, he's using it. Well, maybe. All right, but that's quite, but um, I mean, the, the, the source code itself, um, for the, the self drive apparently has kind of been oversold a little bit by Tesla, some people reckon, because it, it's more likely to, it's more like just a sophisticated form of cruise control. It's not actually like yeah, a self-drive sort of thing. Yeah, but I even know. that, I've... I know it's based on cameras and looks on the road, it looks mm. at the markings on the road, mm. which isn't, isn't... Um, foolproof, really. It's, isn't it's foolproof, not self-drive. Yeah. yeah, and it's not... Um, it's not a new technology as such. Yeah. Um, in a sense where um, I know um, I know Mercedes and BMW had this. I'm not too sure about Audi, but where if you just indicate, mm. this was ten years ago before Tesla had this, or uh, you know, auto drive, where you just indicate and the car will automatically switch lanes for you. Really? Yeah. And I just think, like you said, it's more sophisticated. Because if you look at um, robots, uh, vacuum. R robots. Oh yeah, like the the ones that yeah. Hoover thought. So yeah, it's just like a spatial awareness yeah. thing, isn't it? So I think they might be just using that. Not using. That. I think I think there's more to it, but I, d I don't think it's as well as yeah as what they might be perceiving. Might be yeah. Perceiving, yeah. Hmm. Pretty cool. Amazon is finally realizing its labor problem. Yeah, and um, <laughs> I mean, when I saw this, I've, it, when I, before I read the article straight away, I thought of, um, I actually have a family member okay. who, um, like, uh, like an uncle, who their their daughter went to go work for a um, for Amazon, okay, and said that. I mean, this is what I thought of when when I saw the headline was the fact that apparently when you work for Amazon you could be like obviously the depots are massive because they're delivering so many parcels yeah. um they you get given like a, a code which refers to a location within the, the warehouse and one day you could literally be like over there and the next day you could be like right over the other side like and oh, wow. it's just it's, you're on your feet all day and it's you're not really allowed to talk to anyone whatever so that's what i thought of when it said about a labor problem yeah. it, referring to obviously their workforce and the way they they manage like obviously their staff and everything and after hearing you know what um what my uncle had to say i, I was happy to to see this article that you know they're realizing they have a problem and that hopefully they're making steps towards fixing it because the the sort of working environment that you know he, he described to me wasn't 
it didn't sound nice at all. Yeah, remember we had a friend who um, I don't know if he still works there. Or not. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, Manasa. Shout, <laughs> shout out shout to Manasa. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, he used to work, and then he used to you know say that you know if you're late, you get like basically three stri- strikes and you're fired, mm. and you have to hit a certain um, t- target. Target. We have to either um, package or deliver certain Amazon parcels, and if you don't, that's basically strike one. So it's very yeah, that's super demanding. strict. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's, it's quite sad. Um, is uh, is Jeff Bezos still the CEO? Or? Well, I mean, yeah, because that's what it says. What um, found letter to shareholders. So when I read that, I was like, oh, like what, what does that mean? Yeah, and then. The, the main thing that interests me about this article is, I mean, this might be old news to some, but I didn't realise that he'd handed over the job as CEO to Andy Jassy. Andy Jassy. And, uh, okay. Which, to me, just says one thing, is that he's keeping, like, obviously, a good share of the company, yeah, and he's definitely. just chilling. He's he's chilling. My man's just going to go chill. I don't blame him. I'd do exactly the same thing. Took him a few years, made sure everything's running smoothly. He's like, yeah. Right, I've basically turned what I do into a specific job. They have to do this, 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 and this. Here you go. I'm going to go chill. See you later. Yeah. I mean, during uh, last year, uh, 2020, um, he was do- he was making what? Um, a billion, I think it was something like a billion um, dollars a day because of COVID. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I was like, good on him. But I was just thinking that's just ridiculous. But yeah, guys, let us know what you would do with a billion dollars a day. <laughs> if you can think of, if you can think of that many things that you could possibly do or buy with a billion dollars a day, I would, I would love to know what sort of like crazy suggestions and that you can think of. I, I know what I would do. Go on. I'll give you half. Okay. <laughs> Build an empire. Buy an island. Yeah. Sit down and chill. Yeah, sounds lovely. <laughs> I think I would, I would just do crazy things as well. Like, see how many countries I can visit in one day. Just Guys, like, just fly, fly, yeah. fly, fly, fly. If you can give us a hundred thousand likes, comment down below. Uh, comment down below, and if we can get ten thousand subscribers within the next three months, we'll do within three months. Within three months, I'm very op- optimistic here. You, and me, we'll, run, we'll try and do that. We'll try and do a, a we'll how take, many countries we'll, you can visit in, yeah, in twenty four we'll hours. In twenty four hours, twenty four hours. Or I was going to say in a year. A year? Yeah, we'll take a year gap and we go across all different countries, see how we can do. Mm. 24 hours is quite small. Maybe we'll do a week. How many countries can we visit in a week? Fine. Let us know, guys. 10,000 subscribers in three months. That's a deal. (laughs) Let's <laughs> shake on it, Reese. Alright, we're shaking it. We're shaking it. We'll shake, shake, shake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What's the next What's one? this one? Amazon drivers may soon. Okay. Yeah, I've, this is another article I found. Um, this worries me. Because, funny, funny enough, just the other day, I had to go uh, and help um, my, my partner's mum. So basically my mother-in-law. I had to go help my mother-in-law build some of her furniture. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes it's not easy. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a handy guy. Like, I'm a plasterer. Like, I, I know what I'm doing with tools and stuff. <laughs> I had to build a desk and a, a computer chair. That's all it was. Was, was it that hard? The, 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 the desk was cushy. Fine. Easy. Like, just bolts, Allen key, cushy. Honestly, this, this computer chair was a nightmare. Whoever made it didn't put the where the, the bolts go in all in line with the holes. Oh, one of those ones. So oh, I was trying to like crank it, like proper crank it round and like try and think, oh, it was a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. And I'm thinking, I could have quite easily broken it. I could have quite easily have broken this yet. I didn't, thankfully, yeah. almost. I almost did. But um, managed to get oh, it together. Man. It was Christy. But imagine like Amazon driver comes in tries to build your furniture and that and even if you're qualified like how like, what qualification could you possibly get oh yeah I'm, I'm a qualified furniture builder do you know what i mean like but i don't even imagine know if they break your furniture like you order something off of amazon and they yeah. break it they'll probably be liable yeah but imagine how many problems that would cause for amazon as well 
may, maybe it would be a service that you pay slightly extra for. I think and you would have extra. Yeah, and you'd have to like consent to any damage done to yeah. the furniture is not. So who's really going to use this? If I bought um, um, something online. Oops. I bought something online um, recently and at the bottom it said um, pay extra to get this person, get an Amazon qualified person to kind of come build it up for you. Mm. But I don't know, it's extra quick cost, but. I think it's a bit of a, I mean, I think it'd be quite handy for say like single mums single and stuff mums, like that, yeah. who, you know, might not necessarily, I, they don't have the time if, like because if you're you, like your 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 kids like screaming yeah. and crying and you know but you you need to order like order this bit of furniture and you don't have anyone like you know friends or family or whatever else to come do it for you yeah. it'd be handy for them to, you know because the, they can still spend time with the kid watch their kids and that and then you know yeah and, and have someone do it for them i got a fear my fear is i don't know how um safe this would be because a lot of Burglaries that happen now, people are dressed up as fake uh, Amazon, Amazon drivers. drivers, drivers. And stuff, yeah. So I don't know how safe this will be, but I guess once it kicks kicks off and see how it how it goes, you know, mm. how it goes, and just we just have to wait. All right, I said you this, this, to talk about this. This one, one was quite unique. Apple announces two hundred million dollars for. Forestry. forestry fund to re reduce carbon that's amazing i th i thought that's pretty cool yeah it's good that someone's doing their bit to and know, they, help the planet and we, we need it especially after what we were talking about to do with the weather earlier definitely and the good thing is is the restore fund uh, launched in partnership with conservation international and goldman sachs two big guys who are going to help them and first project is targeted to be later this year. And it's not specified w how they're going to do things or how well it will be. Mm. All I know is that th they'll be using Google uh, Maps, and I'll speak about that in, in a second. But um, a statement from um, Vice President of Apple says, nature provides some of the best tools to remove carbon from the atmosphere. Um, Apple's Vice President of environment uh, policy and social I initiatives um so i thought it was pretty it's thought it was pretty nice um how they begin using google images so google on thursday they released a new feature um i'm not too sure yeah. if it's still out or they will be r rolling or they will be rolling it uh, out, uh, soon. Uh, 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 out soon but google unveiled a time lapse feature to its google earth service that provides a, sa a satellite view of the world um, the the new feature is based on tens of millions of satellite images from the past th 37 years to enable users to see in rich detail how the face of the planet planet has changed. Wow! Do you know what? When because um, I actually, funny enough, when uh, I see this the other day that um, the same that the Google Earth feature, yeah, and I thought of I know I know this is obviously just like childish thought, but imagine if we could have that for like the past like the way back in the past like, i mean in the sense of like yeah, yeah i know i know it's impossible because obviously it's a satellite and satellites aren't even about because we made them but imagine like dinosaurs imagine if we could have had some like when the dinosaurs were about or whatever back when the earth was first created if we could have had that it, it just i i feel like we don't know so much about the earth's history like a lot of it's kind of guesswork yes and, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, even though there's a lot of evidence, you know, um, archaeologists and whatever else, and you know, um, the history books, and I just, I'll, I don't know. It, it, it'd be, I think it'd be cool to see how the Earth has changed over, you know, over there, its lifespan. There is a possibility. There is. Mm -hmm. um, if we could, if we could travel faster than the speed of light, um, and at an instance go mm. two hundred light years away, mm. or th th like two two hundred like million light years away to your planet and look at look at earth from there the light that will be reaching that planet will be 200 million years like late so you'll be true. able to see the dinosaurs and that but um but until that happens probably our great 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 grandchildren probably will be able to do that if if that mm. that's that's another thing as well you made a good point there it's like we're we look like 
we, they have telescopes that look yeah. out look at up. the stars and look at how yeah. other planets and stuff. And like you said, however many light years that it is away, that's the past that's for the that past. planet. We're not looking in the future, right? Yeah, we're not looking we're at what that planet looks like now. So we, yeah. we could be looking at planets right now. Like they found a planet recently yeah. and they called it like Earth 2 sort of yeah. thing. It was like um, it was like Earth, but just way bigger. Um, I think it was like eight or ten so times the size like, of, yeah. of, of our Earth. And it had you know, it looked like it had water and like life on it and whatever crazy. else. Let me tell you something crazy. So mm. the universe right now is expanding. Mm -hmm. It's not actually slowing down. It's actually it's what in scientists in the in the 1900s what they said that it'll it'll um it's 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 it will it's expanding but eventually slow down. But it's actually not slowing down. It's the it's actually increasing the speed of of the universe expanding. It's just increasing. Mm. So we can't see at the edge of the, the universe. universe. We just see the so. Um, What's the best way to explain? I don't even have something on the table. But imagine this is the universe that we see. Mm. This is the observable universe that we can see. All of this chunk we can't see and we will never be able to see. Yeah. Because it's expanding too fast for us to even ever see that. So mm. what the fear is that eventually this might stop and it will come crashing back. But the question is, when it does come crashing, crashing back, we we won't be able to see it, so it'll just come. Vroom. What you think it will happen that fast though? Yeah. Hmm. It's an interesting thought. An interesting thought, because it it just crunch of the gravity in that. And the nearest planet and the space between like Earth and Mars is just obviously increasing. So the space is increasing. So eventually, you won't be able, even able to see Mars. Hmm. So traveling to other planets might might not even ever happen. That's a penny f for a thought. Yeah. But um, yeah, um, back to articles. This is the um, Google Earth um, time lapse feature. One clock back, thirty-seven years. Guys, have a look at this. I thought this was just really, really cool. The current does not seem to be working. I think I really <laughs> jinxed it today, haven't I? Um. <laughs> um. No, okay. the, the time lapse video isn't working, but obviously we always put um, our articles um, linked in the description. So if you guys want to just go below and check that out, then we, we do encourage you to because I, I've I've seen this as well, and it's really cool where you, how you can see the effect of time. Yeah, hundred percent. But I, I think I think it's really cool how they kind of like um, how they've done everything. Um, it just, it just, it just amazing. Here we go. I think. Okay, I think there's an error with the computer, but I'll put in the sn snippet. Um, but yeah, it just, just shows, basically showing um, how Dubai, the palm, and all this was made and created. So it was, it's pretty good. Like what was that? Sorry. So I just realized I was just sitting here like a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's look. If, I mean, if you can look, look at this Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, nineteen eighty-four to twenty twenty. Look at the city, mm. and look at it now. Pff, crazy, but that's just crazy. It, so I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'd li I'd like to look at like London and see what that was like thirty-seven years ago. Definitely, you know, we might be. Able, we, we, we we'll try to get something like some. We try to get. Oh, look, you can see it there. Google Earth. Oh yes. Yeah, left sides before. 84. Right uh, sides now. It just looks more grey. Yeah. It looks more grey. Yeah, it's not There's all green. the flats being built. <laughs> yeah, all the flats. <laughs> all right. Pretty cool. I just thought I saw um, Apple will be using Google Earth um, to see where they need to grow trees and that to help with the carbon emissions and everything. Yeah. No, I think, it's I think it's a good tool. I think it's a um, good idea. Um, here's another Apple article. Um, Apple and could announce its April twentieth spring loaded event. Um, I like how they done the Apple logo as a spring. <laughs> yeah. Um, it basically indirectly kind of showing us that it's going to be jam packed with many many things. 
um, one of the things that I know they'll be introducing is um, iPad Mini, mm-hmm. um, the A14 um, X chip, um, possibly the iPhone 13. Um, I know they'll be talking about the notch size is meant to be mm. meant to be going smaller. Um, I think the the charging port might be gone off. It might be yeah, that we off. spoke about. Spoken about ago. And, yeah, yeah. they'll be talking about the new iPod uh, iPad Pro, the Air Tags. So mm. I think they've got a bunch of more features. I think the new firmware will be probably released uh, with all the beta features going crazy. We should um. We should uh, do a, a reaction video to that. We should sit down, and watch the spring loaded. Um, definitely. And yeah, and maybe do a, a reaction to that. Yeah, I definitely. I would, li- I would like that. I Let us know, know if that's what you guys want to see. If you're interested in seeing our reaction to the spring loaded event. Yeah. So these are like the air tags. Mm. Um, basically, it's like a tracking system, GPS, where you can put it on your accessory or your wallet or anything. Okay. So if it gets lost, you can just track on your phone. Oh, that's oh, that'd be so. And important. they're gonna be releasing this new Apple TV. So you know the HomePod they had, mm. they had the big version, then they released into a smaller version. Mm. I think they're trying to have an iPad. Sorry, sorry iPad. I'm trying to have Apple TV within the small pod, mm. which would, which would be very cool. I mean, if they can do that, that'd be very amazing. But uh, they got new Macs, um, like iMacs coming up. So it's pretty cool how they're gonna be doing everything. But uh, yeah. Uh, I thought this would be very good. Hopefully, we can do a um, a reaction video like mm. like you were saying. Um, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Let, let us know, guys. Um, Reese has a very good point. If you want us to have a um, mm. reaction video, I wouldn't mind. I think that'd be very interesting, very amazing. Because um, I know I got an iPhone. I'm quite an Apple fan. Um, what about you, Reese? Are you Android, Apple? Yo, I I actually am a bit more Apple these days because the last um, Android, <laughs> the last Android that I had, I I just had too many problems with it. Uh, maybe one day I'll go back to Android, but I, I prefer the user interface on on iPhones, and um, I I felt like everyone complains about you know um, Apple phones slowing down or having problems and stuff, but I had f- a far worse experience with my Samsung um, when I had the S3. It literally just I, I think it was like six months yeah I know that. What you mean. and it just got slower and slower and slower to the point where loading just like one single web page took like 10 to 15 minutes yeah it was ridiculous I had a very similar experience with um, Samsung s6 plus edge mm. and just did not like it and then um, and, and so many people that I know who've had Android phones if they're not if they're what I've seen mm. I could be wrong guys let us know. But what I've seen is that if they are at a certain age, like 35 plus or 30 mm. years plus, like in, in a typical office work, a family guy or family, you know, mm. w- you know, or, you know, wife, or woman, you know, um, they don't really download many softwares or apps or anything like that. Yeah, the more apps you install, it's yeah. like the slower it and gets. Their ones are fine. However, when they're younger, like teenagers, they're just downloading apps and all crazy mm. things and searching all... God knows what on um, spare time um, and I think they get viruses or malware or it kind of slows yeah. down but with iPhone doesn't matter what age mm. I think it's very um, user friendly child friendly and I just feel that it's just it's just, it's just nice yeah I think like my, my partner she's had the same iPhone now for like three or four years yeah. and it still works like just fine the only problem she's having with it now but uh, that could just be like dust and stuff like yeah. that is to do with her speaker and her microphone but yeah. i think that is i think she does just, just need dust. it cleaning out on the inside but um yeah other than that she has no problems with it so I'm, I, I'm definitely more apple than i am android yeah um and speaking of apple um i thought that's a lot wow yeah like they pay a penny per stream on average apple music for, for for the artists and you know i thought there's plenty of people well not plenty of people but there's a lot of artists that easily get like a million streams yeah and that's like 10 grand 10 grand wow uh, and you know, if that's like uh, that's amazing if that's I, I, if that's a million monthly streams it's 10 grand a month yeah, i can see now why so many people are trying to become musicians you know yeah like um 
you know, hopefully one day we can get to that point where Definitely. we've got loads of people streaming our, our podcasts on, uh, rap, on Apple Music. We're going to have a rap battle with Deji or KSI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't, I don't know whether they'd, um, they'd ever have a rap battle against us. All we have to do is just slag them, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I thought it was um, good that, you know. <laughs> remember, sorry, sorry. Go on. remember like two years ago, the internet was just filled with like, like you know, I rap about you, you rap about me, just like war going on. And then it was oh, like yeah, diss tracks, yeah, diss track like, season was was mental on YouTube. Tracks. And then it was like boxing and like, yeah, I mean, th- to be fair, like the the, the side men, obviously they they ha- they have had a lot to d- to do with um, different movements on YouTube. They're very influential. 100%. Let me ask you this: If you wanted to, obviously we're like small fish right now, but if you wanted, if you wanted to box someone. What on the YouTube scene? On YouTube scene, who would you box? It's hard, you know, because I don't I actually know loads and loads of YouTubers. Um, I mean, let's say if I was to pick someone specifically from Sidemen, and that's only because I love them. I think they're great. Um, but I don't know. I think a, a fair fight, but in between me and Wilder Sidemen, will probably have to be. I uh, come on. It'd have to be Harry or JJ. It'd have to be Harry or JJ. Maybe Ethan because Ethan's quite physically fit as well. well I but would say KSI man all the way, man. Yeah, I mean, maybe uh, but JJ Harry. would never fight me. Forget Harry. Go, go after the big no, fish. No, no, ha- Harry. Yeah, like, don't underestimate. He's been training lately. Been training. Yeah, he's been training. He's um, he's doing all right for himself, you know. He's quite. He, he was keeping up. Um, there's a the one of their videos. They, um, I'm plugging the side men in one of our videos, but um, <laughs> it, I, it, it doesn't really matter whether I'm plugging them or not. They're going to get views anyway. But um, that Harry and JJ were like both in the gym together. Yeah. And Harry was keeping up with JJ. Like, All right. Quite fair. Like, well, at least they perceived it that way in the video. But yeah, he was he was keeping up with him. He's doing well. Um, and he's not a, he's not a small guy, Harry. He's not yeah. a small, small guy. Like I think if he keeps training and whatever else, he it'd be you know it'd be a bit of a handful yeah. in the room. Okay, okay. What about you? Who would you fight off the YouTube scene? Off the YouTube scene, um, KSI definitely just to take his belt, <laughs> right? Um, but I think I think um, but putting that aside, I would leave JJ to you. Okay. Um, but the one I would like to go after um, would be um, Jake Paul. Really? Yeah. He just gets on my nerves. <laughs> um, I, I know he's fine, nice. um, Ben, right? But um, he, uh, the reason why he gets on my nerves is he just thinks too highly of himself. And yeah. then someone needs to bring him to Down the ground. Yeah. And I think no, no one's been able to do it. I mean, Deji tried, you know, but Deji didn't, I mean, he gave him like a bloody nose in that. Um, you know, um, Nate, the NBA player. So what I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, he's picking small fish. Mm. And I know people on probably watching this probably thinking, oh, Asan, you, you look small, you're a small guy, you know, and you, you can't fight. <laughs> but, you know, um, put me in a ring with um, Jake Paul. And I'll show you what damn Jack can do. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even. That's gonna... all I would have to say. Yeah. Um, I, obviously, I know. You know. Yeah. Um, know. But I, th- I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel it would be um, a good match. Mm. Um, you take on JJ, take his belt. <laughs> I take off. I take on um, Jake. Uh, Jake, take his belt as well. And, uh, and you and me just defend, <laughs> defend the UK. Well, uh, look. This is another thing as well. Speaking about Jake Paul. I ain't going to talk about it too much because I, I don't know the full story. Just um, one of my friends mentioned it to me the other day. I think I know where you're going with this. It, it, you heard about his rape charge? Yeah. There's, I, I don't know. Is it, do you think he's someone just looking for clout? Because I, I don't know anything about the story. That's literally all I heard was I'm he had a rape you. charge. So My honestly, honest feeling mm. is that it's close to his fight. Mm. I think it was um, attack on who he is. I think the person wanted to get famous, get you know uh, piggyback off his name. Mm. Um, I and mean, I've I wouldn't seen, put it past him. And though, I've seen he... how 
I've seen many social media um, social experiments where mm. if a if a guy and a girl same same two people mm. if they're on the street and the guy shouting at the girl people will jump in and help the girl mm. right and even push the guy or even go to the extent of punching the guy mm. but if it's the roles are re- reversed and it's over the way around people will walk past and laugh at the guy oh he's getting um he's getting told off by his girl oh he's mm. he, you know he's not man enough or X, Y, Z. Yeah, that's so um, wrong, man. It's it's very opposite, but and that's the issue that I have. Doesn't matter if you're male or doesn't matter if you're female. It should be I- equal. equal. Yeah. There's um I'm a strong believer in the sense where um um uh, there's certain things that a man can do and certain things that a female can do. Mm. Um, but we're not the same. If that makes sense. However, yeah, you say we're equal but not the same. We're yeah. equal but not the same. Mm. But it doesn't, and I feel that it's 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 because it happened to to Logan Paul where a girl accused him of something, mm. um, saying that his date was bad and he was rude and he was abusive, and at the end of all the investigation that took place, it basically was found out that she was lying. He's never even met her. Mm. So you know, it's it's. Yeah, so it's possible that she the, she's she's lying. But the internet is very. Um, internet is it's a, it's a, it's a place where you can say something and can be taken in a very wrong way, or you can be accused of something that's mm. very um, that can be very detrimental to your uh, name your c- 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 character you can lose everything yeah it, it's 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 bad because it goes both ways because you have innocent people being accused of um obviously guilt and then you have guilty guilty people being let off as innocent yeah like you know not necessarily in jake paul scenario but you know there, there are plenty of scenarios as well where a girl will say that you know she's been sexually assaulted or harassed or whatever and you know um, especially sometimes with guys that you know have a bit of a profile, they just turn around and be yeah. like, "Ah, oh, I didn't do it," blah blah blah, and then all of their their fans and their following just take everything they say as gospel, and they're like, "Oh no, nah, yeah, he wouldn't do that," blah blah blah, um, and then you know, the girls probably telling the truth. Yeah, you know true. what I mean, and it, it, ups, yeah, yeah, and, and it's it's hard like to you know find the um like there's no saying for this. I can't like find. Find the thing between between the thorns, so guys. If if you know what trying is saying, I'm trying to <laughs> help bring out. Guys, yeah, help on. me out, yeah. please. <laughs> but find the something through the thorns or the through thorns, the bushes yeah. or something like that. It, it, yeah, but um, it, it, it's hard, you know. It's hard. No one. Uh, this one. This yeah, one you want to speak about this? This is quite interesting. The crypto market overtakes world's most valuable company. Uh, the cryptocurrency market is now wor- worth more than the world's most valuable company. That's Apple. They overtook Apple. They, o- they overtook the market cap of Apple on Wednesday morning, and it's just crazy. So this is all the cryptocurrencies combined, not just Bitcoin. It's yeah. all of them combined. Um, um, and now one Bitcoin is now worth more than sixty-four thousand, and one Ethereum worth two thousand three hundred fifty dollars. And one Dogecoin worth zero point one three at the time of this writing. So, which was, um, I believe, uh, two, days, two ago. days ago, which would have been on the fifteenth of April. But if you look at the uh, assets to buy the market cap by trillion, look at crimson. All of them combined, two thousand two hundred eleven. I mean, just Bitcoin alone is at one point two trillion. But it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. Look at Apple, Microsoft, Saudi, um. What is it? Aramco, Aramco, Amazon, Alphabet, you know, Silver, Bitcoin, Facebook. It's just crazy. That these are all big names. Big like names. Big big names. And then Bitcoin recent gain, gains means the world's first cryptocurrency is also now worth more than combined market caps of payments giants such as Mastercard, PayPal, and Visa. Wow! Wow! wow. Mental. That's crazy. Like the fact that like everyone uses Mastercard, PayPal, and Visa. And Bitcoin's worth more makes me question, like how, wow. like how things, how f- are things going to be moving forward? Eventually, we're all going to be using Bitcoin. Do you know what I mean? Wow. It won't be right when you go Crazy. to buy something off Amazon. It won't. The, one of the payment options will be Bitcoin. Bitcoin, yeah. I think you know some places are actually doing that right now. They, they, probably. They, they've um, start start doing that. You can. Um, they don't accept any other cryptocurrency, but they only accept 
Bitcoin or, or Ethereum. Mm. But um, there's another one as well where uh, basically uh, the stock market debut of one of the most leading cryptocurrency exchanges has been uh, dubbed a coming of age moment where it's going to be uh, valued more than 100 billion. That's just, cr- I, I just can't wait for this. I think maybe we should start investing in cryptocurrency, bro. <laughs> I think we're going to have to. We have to. Because the way farming. things are moving. Yeah, because they, uh, they they have a room, they have like loads of computers and it's called cryptocurrency farming. So. Joe, Joe, that's why you can't get a, a GPU for love nor money at the moment. Yeah. Obviously, I, yeah, I'd say them, I think we might have even spoken about this. I'm, I'm getting deja vu. But I um, think you and me spoke about it a while ago. Yeah, we spoke about when you spoke speaking about um the Samsung um SSD r- SSDs. Yeah, in episode but, one. But it, even if we did speak about it, just a quick. But you can't like if you're like a PC gamer or whatever at the moment, you can't get hold of a uh, a decent GPU for love nor money at the moment because yeah. everyone's using it for cryptocurrency farming, yeah. just setting up massive farms for like. I don't know how it works. I'm not gonna lie. But we should we should invest we should invest we'll just see how it goes what's this one facebook faces legal action over a data leak and right. it's quite a big one um about it's 330 million people had some personal information leaked including in some cases phone numbers it was this happened back in 2000 2019 and only came came to light into now after all the investigation has gone through right yeah that's right that's oh, right. wow but um this is this yeah. is the one that mark zuckerberg's private number got elite yeah. and found out that he was using signal <laughs> <laughs> but this is that they've had so many problems over the years facebook and i don't understand how um uh, a social media giant that has come under this much scrutiny is you know still getting away with stuff like this and why they haven't fixed up like the amount of money that they have we just see them in that in that um like top 10 market values they have mm-hmm. just under a trillion dollars worth of what of um you know what wealth. they got big people in their pockets like lawyers because they avoid tax and everything yeah and why do they avoid it because they've got the, the certain government people in their pockets who have big shareholds in in companies like this Mm. and just let them through and people like us where we pay our taxes and not personally i don't believe it's very fair no it's not uh, they they should be m- make taking better steps to make sure that all of our information is safe because some people put far too much on social yeah. media and um you know i know there are plenty of people that if their personal if their data was leaked it weren't anything that's like not important they they lost some real stuff do you yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. i agree with you a bit s- sad but i guess i guess they just i guess get to show people that don't put everything on the internet don't put your whole life on the in- internet, in- yeah. in- internet i mean i got facebook but last time i've ever uploaded a face picture on facebook or uploaded anything was probably what nine years ago you probably see my baby pictures are there <laughs> that, I'm, I'm the same i think i've posted like one facebook picture in in like the last four or five years yeah as well and i'm saying i'm just as bad with instagram as well like one picture one like I, po- I actually posted a picture um a few months ago and it was something like just like uh i think i made like a smoothie or something like that <laughs> I, don't know, I, I think i just made, made a smoothie. smoothie yeah i made oh, a smoothie yeah, yeah, I, I really I, like I, I yeah that one. i put I it on instagram one. and my my sister-in-law was like oh you finally posted something, something on instagram yeah. <laughs> and it, but it was just a smoothie it weren't even anything like impressive right like, and you know um and now we're here uploading our thumbnails on instagram guys please follow us on instagram uh, yes please do Asana and reese uh, short and simple, uh, two lovely names with the and in the middle. Um, <laughs> you know, best of friends, best of bros. Um, just let us know. Um, please just follow us. All the support will be uh, helpful. Um, Greatly all, appreciated. All yeah. the subscribers so far and followers on Instagram, um, we appreciate it. Uh, such a um, small but quick growth. Um, growth. Thank you. Uh, in a small um, amount, of time. amount of time. I mean, last I checked there, we had, I think it was 77 subscribers. So yeah, guest. anyone who's subscribed, thank you very much. Um, appreciate it. 
Yeah, no, on, we, we really do appreciate it. We, you know, we want to um, be able to do this more, you know, um, in future, if, if we can do um, this full time and crank out more content and different content. It won't just be podcasts. You'll see a lot more from us than, yeah. uh, than just podcasts in the future. Like um, I said, 50,000 likes. We'll do a prank in uh, Houston, Texas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we jump in the dominoes um, or automation vehicles. Yeah. Um, do you know what we should we should do all sorts like let us know what um sort of things you'd like to see us do guys like reaction videos to, to different bits of pieces like on music or whatever um we should do know. a reaction video to um jake paul and ben yeah yeah we could do we could do a reaction video to that um yeah just just let us know and uh you know we're, we're gonna keep on improving and, and you know cracking out more different types of content for you guys Definitely. So um this? yeah so we we're just speaking about facebook um yeah, nice, nice little so um, story about Instagram, you know. Yeah. Ooh. So Instagram will test letting users toggle public like counts on and off. And I um, wanted to speak about this because I think, you know, we spoke a little bit about yeah. mental health and stuff today and, you know, um, the, the impacts of social media. And I think it's a great idea, especially for like, you know, for young people. Like, you know, w when we was growing up, Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, there was like MySpace and, you know, high tagged, high five. high five. I remember high five. Yeah. Like, but Instagram and Facebook and everything, they've kind of, you know. Um, taken over. They, yeah, they've taken over and they've almost perfected the whole sort of, um, you know, uh, equation, that the algorithm and everything they have going on towards making it so that you really, like some people get hooked on like yeah. how many likes they get, you know, the feedback they get, the, you know, the, the social sort of um, acceptance of others, you know, uh, and by posting their lives on Facebook and Instagram, um, receiving that. And, you know, I think this impacts young people so negatively, you know, yeah, for yeah, people does. in secondary school, they post a picture and they're, they're like, oh, um, so-and-so, that person that I don't like or annoys me at school, they yeah. got this many likes on their pictures, but I only got this many, you know, it, it's, it's damaging for their self-esteem. Cyberbullying. I think when we were young, we didn't have all this, which, like you said, my have high five and all that. It wasn't like that. I we mean, yeah. I just think to myself, that imagine if we had something like this and someone bullying like for example when i was in secondary school mm. um and i feel like i want to talk about this one day in one of our videos about yeah. my stamina and that but i was bullied um mm. and it just it just if people had recorded or you know bullying or the fights that i got into mm. trying, trying to defend myself and post it on instagram you know it could be damaging to my um character or my life or mm. anything you know I, th I, th I think it's a good thing that they're letting people talk to toggle the the like button because it's pretty good because i know they've done that with the homosexual section yeah. i know youtube have a feature to turn off the likes which mm. is pretty good but yeah i think it's pretty it's pretty good um it's amazing to to be honest i feel like if um if if someone makes an account like a young person makes an account and obviously you, you punch your birthday in like your birthday mm. in when you create your account below the age of 18 it should be to turn turn off automatically i think i mean the only the only the only problem you yeah. have is like obviously you do get some people like content creators whatever else yeah. like there are plenty like especially like y youtube gamers and stuff like that yeah um that you know they start when they're like 15 16 some yeah. some people so they want that feedback they want to know if people are liking their content whatever else just like how we yeah. we do we, we want to know if people are liking our stuff so what will stop people from up changing their their age their age yeah of course yeah that's that is the only thing i did come across an article um, a little while ago something like Instagram will have a new app for people who are under 13 or something like that which was pretty which will be which is pretty cool um, but I, I don't know how much I agree with that because again I just feel like that's kind of social media's way of trying to get people hooked to their platform at an even younger age because Instagram know oh, if we get them hooked to Instagram below the age of 13 they're going to be hooked like near enough for life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, 
I don't know. I, as much as I, I'm a gamer and you know I love technology and you know we, we love talking about it here and you know we was always out when we was younger. We was always out on our bikes and you know going to the park and you know just playing Definitely. football and we was hardly ever inside. I only re- this is a thing that like, even though I've always played video games, I'd much rather go play football or you know yeah. go see the boys. Well, or I agree with you. Whatever I've, else. Personally, I would. I'm more outdoor type of person. So yeah, I, like, exactly. I like going out and playing about. Oh. But I know so many young people. Yeah, th- they make plans to stay indoors and do stuff, and they're like, their their mates will call them up, and be like, "Oh, do you want to go out tonight?" Nah, nah, I'm just gonna chill with them and, uh, and play video games and stuff. Like, yeah. you know, each of their own. But I, I, I don't think it's good for I for mental good. health. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I agree with you. So what's this? Um, the well, Triton man sues police for wrong wrongfully arresting him based on facial recognition. All right. Yeah, so, I mean, I thought this was just peak, to be honest. <laughs> I read the title, I was like, oh my God, this poor guy. <laughs> he's, he's been arrested for something. Based, and they're like, no, 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 it's you, 100% facial recognition says so. And he's like, well, it's wrong. It's wrong uh, yeah. and then, I was there, X, X time, look at the camera. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, the, the, the article like, states that the, the police department that done it even contradicted themselves because... Um, uh, it says that hang on, it. I need to find it now. It says that it's, it's very rarely wrong, um, but then later on in the article, it says that um, <coughs> the facial recognition is frequently inaccurate. Particularly, look, it says here. So facial recognition is particularly inaccurate with black subjects and low quality picture. Um, I think they could have worded that a bit. I better. think they could have worded that. I don't re- I personally, I don't like. We're seeing black subjects i mean just say mm. you know them um, with um darker skin tone or um african-american or if this is based in america you know um you would i mean you wouldn't never hear like a brown subject or a white subject yeah i don't know I, I, i've then i've always yeah. heard sayings of black subjects you know i've seen police from past me you know uh, they, they've got their thingy bobs um and they, you know, say certain things, but when it's the, uh, when this for other people, they don't. I don't know, and I don't even know why they didn't just use the code because obviously you know, like police officers and security people, yeah. there's codes. So like you codes, know, yeah. um, it'd be like an IC three that yeah. refers to like um someone of um uh, of uh, color, color, yeah, yeah, uh, or you know, or like an IC one or whatever, someone who's white, whatever. So why didn't they just put that like um you know suspects who are um of IC3 or, or come into IC3 bracket or whatever else because that's not then that, that literally just shows that they're just talking about you know it from yeah. a, a business point of view like that's the code word whatever they didn't have to say like you said black subjects so but yeah, you know maybe we're just being a bit picky who knows let us know yeah let us know what do you guys think you know uh, it's on the verge and we can tell you who wrote it um, so if you want to pick a bond with them please do <laughs> But yeah, that's, that's quite a peak on the guy. Uh, I feel very sorry. Uh, could he? Could he just imagine? Just, you know, the guy knocking, the police knocking on his door. <laughs> yeah, right, we, you know, you committed this X Y Z crime, and you're going to jail. Like, when was when what crime? I've been at home, you know. I mean, this happens all the time. Making it happens. It, it happens all the time. It's not even just due to facial recognition, is it? Like yeah. people get wrongly arrested and accused all the time. Definitely. But, definitely. Um, but I think it just shows again that we rely a bit too much on on technology, Definitely. sometimes, you know. But yeah, guys, uh, let us know what you thought about uh, our episode three. <coughs> um, f- you know, hitting the th- third mark. Yeah. Um, if you g- think we've um, we can be better on certain things, or in, or you know, if we're a bit boring or we're not enthusiastic <laughs> enough, let us know. Uh, drop it in the comment below um, but please please do subscribe do like do follow us on our social media platforms mm-hmm. um, subscribe to our um, Apple podcast and Google podcast yeah um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed it uh, hopefully you'll see episode four coming up soon yeah definitely and um, stay tuned to the channel for all of our little clips so that you know um, if you ever miss a podcast and you don't get the chance to see the whole thing then you can always just watch our clips and yep. you know. our clips are probably the best way to find specific articles that you're interested in.